Hey, what's going on everybody? Servo here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to teach you a trick to uh, find all the like really rare and exclusive loot way, way easier and faster than actually going out and just doing it throughout your playthrough. Maybe you're trying to find the chipped blade and you've scanned like 80% of Azios Wilderness and you just can't find it. This video is going to help you with that a lot. So if you guys do enjoy any of my core keeper content, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any uploads and uh, let's get started so what you want to do is go over here to start game we're then going to start a new world uh you could have a world seed here i'm just going to name mine suro uh youtube y and t right here right so then my actual name i'm just going to put i'll just put chipped blade so we're going to use this to like try and find the chip blade so what you want to do is go to settings and you want to turn biome chaos all the way off or density you could leave it tunnels i'm just going to turn it off um we have uh, tunnels turn that off chambers we're going to go ahead and turn that all the way off as well rivers you want to turn all the way off okay and then let's see let's go down to lakes you want to put it on extreme so make sure lakes is on stream uh, extreme and then pits we're going to take that all the way down to off and ceiling holes, this is just to allow you to see some light. I'm actually going to turn that up on high so it's easier to see. So uh, that should be everything. So the main key points is to make sure lakes is all the way on extreme. And pretty much everything else is on off except you can have like ceiling holes on extreme. We're going to apply and then we're going to go ahead and load in. All right, so things I recommend you have with you is a, a bow and also either some bridges or walls. The walls also act as floors now with the uh, 1.0 update. So pretty much what this does is like turn almost your entire map into all water except for the scenes that have exclusive like um, loot, whether it's a necklace or um, exclusive chest or even the structures for things like the the uh, chip blade and some of the other stuff that you need to craft these legendary items so we're just going to keep going until we find the aziaza biome and it shouldn't take too long so whenever you find some areas there could be some areas that aren't exactly like um actual scenes so scenes are just what they're called for like the little areas that are custom made by the developers so uh, you can go ahead and just keep navigating and make your way through here this is why i suggest that you actually end up bringing some bridges it looks like the water is going to fill in the little caverns here but that's why we set these things to low just because i would rather actually have water and um it looks like gorm the devourer is coming by he's actually making a path for us which is kind of crazy so we're just going to keep making our way There we go, and then we made it over here to the lake. Let me break the wall. I've noticed I only really run into stuff whenever I'm like uh, entering a new biome. So right here is one of those things you could call like a scene. So it has this little like bridge area and there's like loot everywhere. So we can just keep going past that. And let's see if the Azios Wilderness biome is over on this side. I can actually get my boat back out. And we have reached the wall. So just like the first time you played through the game, you are going to have to take down this wall before you can progress. But as you see, when we navigated through from the core to here, it took me less than a minute with the boat to get from here all the way to the wall. So I just have to take the wall down and then we can keep going. Okay, so I had literally just taken down the wall. And as you can see, I've already found one of these exclusive structures that's going to have one of the uh, pieces, like the requirements for one of the items that you're going to need. And uh, I could just go around. So it looks like the sunken sea biome, but it's not. This is literally just the like desert of beginnings area, which is really cool. So I'm just going to keep going. It looks like I'm in the wrong area for the Azios wilderness, uh, wilderness. So I'm going to have to go to an area if I want to try and find the chip blade. But I can navigate so much easier and know that almost every single land is gonna have something that I need, which is uh, something that's very valuable. So like, look at this, we have something right here. Let me go inside here and see what we got real quick. Let's see, can we mine through these walls? Uh, looks like I need some explosives. All right, let's just slap down a couple of these bombs real quick. That should blow it up and I can get inside there. Good thing I brought my shovel with me. 
Now, just in case you didn't know, this structure right here and the thing that we just obtained, we ended up getting the Caveling Prophet Mask. We also got the Thread of Faith. Only one of these structures spawned per world, and this is the only way to get the Thread of Fate. So, for that, you need all of the different Oracle cards. You can actually combine them to get an offhand item, which actually isn't that good, but that's the besides the point. The cool thing is, we literally just started in this world, and in less than five minutes from the core of me going around i already found one of the hardest things in the entire game to actually find and again we've been out here for five minutes so you can just keep on trucking keep looking at these little structures and get a lot of this rare stuff without having to mine our i mean look at this we just started and we've already found this area and you guys are not gonna believe this but i found the ancient forge already literally like 30 seconds later so um, here's the core. Again, we found the Thread of Fate area here and then just barely next to it, I broke into this structure and we have found this to make the Soul Seeker, which is like the best pickaxe in the game. It's the thing I have. So yeah, this I'm sure this method is definitely going to help you guys. If you want more guides like this, definitely hit that subscribe button. But uh, I'm going to keep trying to find some more structures. And here we are. So I made it over to the Azios Wilderness. I'm, I'm going to be honest. This took me longer to find than it did these other structures. I spent 15 minutes and no longer than 15 minutes. So I just kind of went up here and I went up. I went down. I went back up and then I went down the middle. So I kind of created like a little circle around the area that the structure should spawn. And then I cut down through the middle just to see if I can see it on both sides. And we ended up finding it. So now I guess I just need, if I remember correctly, I need one of those like uh, glow flowers. So that's all there really is to it. You just take your glow tulip right here. You go ahead and open the door and then inside you're going to find the chipped blade on this little pedestal. There's also this gold necklace and some other stuff. Go around, break all the pots, take all the stuff. And you're going to need this item to craft the rune song. So I will make a full video on how to get that later if you're a little confused on that. But this is one of those items that I think is probably one of the hardest items to actually find. And that is because like imagine I Found, so I found this in less than 10, probably 10 minutes at the most. And that was from using my boat. So imagine if you had to go through here and mine through every single wall. Instead of this all being water, you had to mine through the walls. That would take forever ever so i definitely wanted to get this guide out here so i can share this with you guys and put you on it so you do know if there's a piece that you're struggling with you can have a second map go over here and try and find it my total recording time from start to finish any mess ups or errors or anything was 34 minutes so i found the ancient forge the threaded fate and the chip blade within 30 minutes of recording which is uh, actually a little bit less you know so it's definitely an op method if you guys need the most overpowered items in the game and you're just struggling i got your back so thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you have a really wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one